We do know that it was painted very shortly after the coronation, so it's a very early coronation portrait. We have a photo that shows that it's been in the possession of the city of Calgary since 1953 or 1954. We don't have any documentation of its provenance, so we don't have any proof of ownership which mm. with collections. It's a very important thing, so we're doing a lot of research to try to dig back and, and find that, uh, that documentation. What do we know about Pamela Edwards? Uh, we don't know a whole lot other than uh, she has painted other portraits of the Queen. Uh, there's one in the collection of the Musée de Beaux-Arts, I believe, in, in Montreal, and one other. She unfortunately has passed away within the last 10 years or so, uh, so we can't un interview her directly, which would have been you know, so wonderful to hear her story about, uh, you know, did, did the Queen sit for her? We, we'd like to have these questions answered. Of, you know, did she work from a photo or was she commissioned by some entity or some body to go and take and do these portraits? We are in touch with the family, so we're hoping that we can get some information that way and find out, you know, who is the commissioning body and start uh, following that lead. The family, no, I think it, they think they were surprised to learn about it, yeah, so this is, you know, kind of a very exciting thing for them to, to discover that their mother had painted a, another, another portrait. What we're doing is we're going to bring in a paintings conservator. She actually is a, from the Glenbo, and uh, she's going to give it a very detailed condition assessment. Uh, so looking at, over it with a fine tooth comb to uh, monitor and uh, document any, any condition issues that there are. Uh, but we might also take it out of the frame and see if there's any information on the stretcher or anywhere else, any other labels or markings that could give us some more information. We will contact an appraiser and, and have it appraised as well. Thank you.